Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I'm Carl Mitchell and this is your energy forecast, spiritual teaching and intuitive development for today, Thursday, January the 15th, as well as tomorrow, Friday, January the 16th, 2015 is the year. And this much I know is true today. <laughs> so thank you for taking time to watch, retweet, post, subscribe, become a fan. I am three away from the YouTube channel of going over a thousand. So if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, Intuitive Mitchell, and you feel led to do so, do it. I want to get over a thousand today. Excited. So not the Facebook page, not Instagram, but this actual channel for YouTube. So today, um, another simple message. And I love, I love the compactness of the words, but the vastness of the message, which Spirit has been doing changes in my life. Because I've always been a bullet point type person. I don't mind talking and rambling. I know some of y'all have expressed that before. Um, but today, the, the, the simple thing is, the simple message is, the answers that you are looking for are within. Just ask the right questions at the right time. And right meaning appropriate um, uh, for that moment, for that time. Not correct, not wrong, not right, but just ask the questions. Are you asking the questions? You know, I, I on a regular basis, you know, I'm in a loving relationship. You know, we're discussing marriage because it's finally legal in our state. And I still ask myself, you know, is this the person I'm supposed to be with? Probably once a month, I just do that mental check and go, is this relationship still serving me for my highest good? Yes, it is. Um, in many ways, you know, the, the place where I work, I have a corporate day job and do this work nights and weekends. And I say to myself on a regular basis, am I still supposed to be there? And when my boss looks at me and says, I, I took a page out of your spiritual teaching recently when I was having a rough time, I know I'm still supposed to be there, you know, especially when I don't talk too much about this stuff. You know, ask the question, you know, um, am I eating the appropriate things for my body? You know, do I need to release something? You know, what? Ask the questions. Just ask. Now, here's the thing. Most of us don't want to ask because we feel like we're going to get the answer we don't want. But here's the brave part, I believe, the courageous part. Just ask. You don't have to follow up. If I, if I literally said, am I still supposed to be with Fabian? And I heard a resounding, no, nope, you need to break this off. That does not mean I wake up and break it off. That doesn't mean I have to. That's just the guidance from the other side. I can continue to hold on to this relationship and either watch it flourish because I worked harder or something changed or something's different or I set an intention, or I can watch it spiral down and think, boy, I should have ended it when, it when they told me to. So my point with that is just to ask the questions and just see what comes up. You will find the answers throughout your life in a song lyric. Someone will walk up and say, you know, I've been thinking, maybe I should go take a pottery class. Do you want to join me? Ta-da! I was just asking, should I enhance my creativity? There you go. Especially when you go, hmm, I should do that. Don't overthink it. Don't wait too long. Dive into it. So, are you asking the questions? Just ask. Just ask. All right. So, uh, you can always say no, even to your higher self. Sure you can. So, Lenormand for today, the 15th day of January, is going to be the coffin card. This is A, it's number A, which is a whole year. The whole year is about, there's a lot of endings. It's nine of diamonds, nine of coins. Um, but the coffin card is ending, closing, death, you know, putting things to rest, so to speak. And the terror to go along with it, nine of swords. So, very interesting. We got some nines, a lot of closures here. So, in the worry, put the worry to death. Stop it. Stop it. That is really clear because the Nine of Swords is worry, frustration, losing sleep over things, you know, anxiety. Put an end to it. That's what the Coffin card is saying for me in this reading right now for you. Moving on to tomorrow the 16th. 16 day. A lot of dismantling tower card energy. Lenormand for tomorrow is going to be the letter, and which is 27, which is a nine, another nine, another number nine. So the letter, communication, email, text, you know, messages, books. Um, usually not books because that would be the book. But this is definitely written words um, of sorts, but communication as well. Tarot to go along with it is going to be four of cups. So um, there's hesitation in what you're writing. Um, I also feel like wait for the missing piece before you make the communication. Wait till your emotions settle before you <sighs> type that email back. Yuck, how dare you? 
take a breath, come back and then respond, and respond from a peaceful, calm place. So ask the right questions. Check out my website, intuitivemessenger.org. Kundalini spread still available to you. I deliver it back to you via YouTube video with a powerful intention for that energy to rise and light up all your chakras. Um, I'm in person January 24, 25 and February 21st in Orlando. You can see all that on my Facebook pages under events. So I think that's about it. Have an amazing day. I will talk to you tomorrow morning. Namaste to you.